Hi, this is CBRadioMagazine.com, and today we've got a Galaxy DX979 in front of us. This is a stock radio. Uh, basically, we did a mild tune on it, just to our normal effect, the way we would on this radio. We're going to do a test today and add a Top Gun uh, CP1 compressor into the radio. So let's get started, and we'll kind of go through the install points of the uh, CP1 processor. Okay, this is the CP1 speech compressor. Basically, it's... Uh, just some surface mount parts on a little small board with two wires onto it. It's been a lot of uh, speculation on really what this does and uh, if it actually works, so that's kind of what we're going to try and decide today. Um, I obviously don't want to really mess around too much with the covering on it because that would ruin it, but I'm guessing these are just some different resistors. Um, we're going to be removing some resistors off the board and then replacing it with this, and it's kind of kind of uh, take the place of those resistors and offer a little bit different function on the radio and that's how the compressor is supposed to work so uh, that's what we're going to be starting with this is the front of the radio we're going to be uh, we've got the radio upside down and I'm going to show you the locations here right near the front okay this is our mic preamp IC right here um, this is going to be IC7 and we're going to be operating right around here there's two resistors we need to remove it's going to be R186 and R176, and they're the two resistors located right next uh, to IC7 here. So R186 and R176 uh, right next to your IC7. I'm going to unsolder both of these from the board, and uh, then we're going to be soldering uh, the two wires um, from our Top Gun compressor uh, to some locations on the IC and uh, we're going to be mounting on the bottom and we'll be doing that all on the bottom of the radio so we'll show you what that looks like in just a second okay here's our two resistors that we removed uh, once again R176 and R186 um, I do suggest whenever you remove these hang on to them if you don't like the way that the Top Gun compressor works then you'll want to have them around so you can reinstall them on the board Okay, we've unsoldered the two resistors, uh, R186 and R176. That's The one was right here, the other one was right here. And then what we've done is we've uh, attached uh, our CP1 processor uh, to the pins 1 and 2. The orange wire from the CP1 goes to uh, mic preamp IC pin 1, and the yellow wire goes to mic preamp IC pin 2. And uh, once again, this is your IC7. We're going to show on the other side uh, where we've attached the CP1 and how we've mounted it. Okay, this is the solder side of the board. Uh, here's our CP1 processor. We've actually used the attached mounting tape. It's a double-sided adhesive tape to mount it to the radio. There's an orange wire and a yellow wire. And the pins for the IC, it's hard to see here, but the pin 1 is where the orange wire is. Uh, pin 2 is where the yellow wire is, pin 3, pin 4, and then you can see the pins here on the other side of the IC. Um, this is near the edge of the board. So the ones you're going to be operating on the first two here on this side, and actually the two resistors that you will have removed will be right next to where you're attaching uh, the CP1 wires. So the two resistors you removed to actually sit right here and right here just underneath where the wires are now. I should have shown that before there, my apologies. So. Now we're going to close back up the radio, do a little audio testing, and uh, see what we think.